PowerPoint opens in editing mode called Normal View. Let's take a look at the areas of the editing window. I create slides here in the slide pane. And this is the notes pane where I'll type notes that I want to refer to while I present. This is the thumbnail pane and that's where I'll add new slides. PowerPoint automatically adds the first slide for me, the title slide that introduces the show. Up here, this is the ribbon, and it has all the commands that I'll use to create the slides. The slide that I've selected in the thumbnail pane is the one that displays over here in the slide pane. It's here that I'll work on the slide and add elements to it. This default slide is added when I start a new presentation, and it's called a title slide. It's designed with a box for a title and a second box for a subtitle. To add text, just click inside the box and begin typing. I've typed the title, and now I'll type the subtitle. Now I'm ready to add more slides. To add a new slide, I go to the ribbon. This home tab is the one that's first displayed. In the slides group, I'll click the new slide button. PowerPoint inserts a new slide, which is now highlighted here. The new slide has a different arrangement of placeholders than the title slide. With a title placeholder here and a larger placeholder for text or other graphical content below it. I know what I want on this slide. I'll type the title and then in the larger placeholder I'll add my core values as a bulleted list. In the next video, I'll show you how to add pictures. I'll discuss the possibility of using fewer words and a simple image on your slides, saving the majority of text for your notes pages. It's a clever, less complex method to use to present your message in PowerPoint. So I'll insert another new slide. Note that because my most recent slide is selected, PowerPoint will insert the new slide right below it.